What's up everybody? Blue Gabe here. Day number two of lobster season. It would be day number one, but unfortunately, like life goes, my boat broke down on day number one. Called Palm City Yachts in Palm City. They got it in, fixed it in one day, had some corrosion issues. Now we're back on the water for day two. My dad's gonna drive the boat for me. I got Luke. We're gonna run out, do two tanks, shoot some lionfish, maybe catch some lobsters. Hopefully catch some lobsters, but definitely shoot some lionfish. We'll see y'all in a second. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready for some big bugs? Yes. All right, let's go. All right, well, we're sitting at the mouth of the inlet. We got a four mile run. Hopefully when we get there, the lobster will be there. All right, well, we're here. Unfortunately, I don't have a cameraman, so I'm gonna get all my junk on, get ready, and I'm just gonna roll the clip.
So this is how you gauge the lobster. You don't get their eye meat. You get it right on that hard shell. See right here? You hook the front on there, he's legal. If it was like this, he wouldn't be legal, but he's legal. I already got four in here, four good legals. Two big lionfish. Look at that big joker. Yeah, big joker. And then what else I got in here? This one juked me in the hand so bad right here. <laughs> he got me, Luke. Yes. Well, that's the dinner. Here's number six. Number six. I don't Mom. gauge him when I'm down there just because I've been doing it forever and I know what illegal is. You'll never see me bring a short up. He's legal. So we got, I don't know, four nice lionfish and six nice lobster. We'll see y'all at the house. We headed to the hill. Alright y'all, we're at the house. Time to clean some fish. Got a nice mess of lionfish. Got some big bugs. Robert, it's David Bell, my parents, everybody are here for dinner. We're gonna knock the sides off of these, clean these lobster real quick and rush inside. All right, so with these lionfish, you see that? That's no bueno. You don't wanna stick your finger with that. Look at that. I mean, just as pretty as it gets. Always discard of these safely. Don't just go dump them in the water somewhere because they could literally float by somebody's dock and jab a little kid. A lobster, anytime you're cleaning a lobster and you're not over water, clean it over a bucket. See all that blood? It's clear and it will stick to everything. Take an antenna, break it off backwards, pull it out. All right, so lionfish and lobster for dinner. So I've got all this lobster meat out. I butterfly them and then just pull it out. Got all the lionfish fillets. Come here and I'll show you how to do just one. So you put the knife in and butterfly it. Sometimes you need to boil them and that meat will pop out or sometimes it'll just pop out. It, does, it all depends on really if the lobster's ready to shed or not. So once we get into the kitchen, I'll show you all more of this. All right, you guys. 
So Gabe came to me like a couple years ago saying he wanted to get involved with YouTube and you would not believe this, but he was never this open. <laughs> like personality wise, Gabe was way more shut up. He was always a great outdoorsman, whether it was hunting, fishing, diving, doing whatever he was doing, but he was never open. So for me and my older brother, Aubrey, and our family like to see him like being open and talking to the camera and to y'all it started with instagram and now to see him on youtube it's really cool so if you like blue gabe and you think he should just blow it up and keep going and doing more drop a thumbs up leave a comment because my channel deer meat for dinner has been driven by your encouragement by your support and it's just amazing how we can bring our stories to the world like what he's doing right now, we've been doing stuff like this our whole lives. YouTube has just given us the platform to show everyone. You didn't just learn how, did you watch a YouTube video to do this? Yeah. <laughs> but I still learn on YouTube all the time. Like I'll see things and I'm like, whoa, need to try that. So even you, like if you watch us do something and you like it, that doesn't mean you have to do that exact thing, but it will give you an idea. Maybe you should try that and then you know, you're always learning. The second you believe that you're done learning, get a new hobby, get a new <laughs> life. That right. You got that right. You got that right. <laughs> Tell them, Lou. You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> he gets it from me. All right, we got the kebabs done. Got some with just <laughs> mushrooms, some with just mushrooms and lobster. Then the rest got pineapple, corn, sweet peppers, lobster, and a bunch of goodness. Just simple salt and pepper. A little bit of garlic butter. I'm not going to use a full stick of butter like Robert would use. I'll just go with that. So many people make comments, bro, your brother uses so much butter. Most of the butter goes through the cracks. Only a little bit stays on the fish or, or whatever I'm cooking. And that's it. We're gonna go put them on the grill. Now it's dark outside. The mosquitoes are bad, so I'm not gonna show you all the whole grilling part. A bunch of y'all have grilled, I'm sure. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day and for this food and for all of our blessings and for our family and friends. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And for those of y'all that don't know, that's my mom, Miss Betty, and that's my dad, Mr. Walt, my brother, Dear Me. All of y'all obviously know him and my son, Luke. Yeah, if you guys want to see me recreate this, here's the deal. You can't be copying my show. I will. I absolutely will. If Gabe can, if Blue Gabe can get 10,000 likes on this video, I'm going to recreate this, this whole kebab because I love the idea of having the corn on the cob with all your herbs and lobster in between. I think that's a great deal. I that like was that. Miss Betty's idea. Is it? Have me one of them. Yeah, that was mom's idea. Dad, this is really good dinner. Oh, I'm so glad. That's the lionfish that you helped me spear. Yes. Thank so you. Luke doesn't like lobster, obviously he's four, but he is mowing down on that lionfish y'all see me I see. I do like lobster, Dad. You do? Yes. Oh, well, I'll get you a piece then. Here you go. Come here and get a little close up. Man, and when you add, when you take the pineapple, and grill it, it becomes so sweet. This is so good. It tastes, it tastes like, it tastes like deer taste. It tastes like deer. It tastes like deer? Yeah, it tastes like deer. Mm. Deer is really good to eat. Give me a camera, you try it now. Pick one, any one. I'll wear this one. I'll wear this one. Mm -hmm. What about It's David Bell's hair, y'all? I think he's trying to grow a mohawk right now. <laughs> I think he looks really sharp. Very handsome, David. I think David Bell is, is getting long hair now. Mm, it's good flavoring. I'm a little sick right now. I can't tell from my voice. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. 
Everybody's gone, it's just me. I wanna go back and give a huge shout out to Palm City Yachts. My boat broke down yesterday. I called them in the morning, they said get it in here. They got my boat fixed and got me back on the water so I could get back out there on day two and catch my limited lobster and get this video out for y'all. I wanna give my brother, Deer Meat for Dinner, a huge shout out for helping me get my foot in the door on YouTube, my parents, everybody, you guys for all y'all's support. You guys have shared my videos, give me so many positive comments. And for that, I will forever be thankful. Unfortunately, all good stories gotta have an ending, and right now, this is the ending. And until next time, we gone.